present? <laughs> From all of us in the department, Allie. Oh, you guys are so sweet. We know that. <laughs> so, are all the wedding preparations under control now? Huh? I mean, it isn't that far away. I know. A week and a half. I think I'm in shock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Brunel's will be closing in five minutes. Oh, I gotta get all this stuff organized. Me too. Okay, thank See you. you. Later. Casey. Ellie? I, um, I know that we should talk about what happened in the gatehouse, but maybe right now is not a really good time. Relax, Ellie. It's not why I'm here. I've got a photo shoot. Hi, Tess. Where's Steph? But she's not with you? No. She's an hour late. Don't tell me she's not coming. Damn it. Where could she be? Look, Steph and I, we had a little argument. She ran out of my loft a couple hours ago. Great. This is why couples should never work together. Are you going to go look for her? Casey, it's too late. I told Ava we were going to have this job finished within two hours of closing. She's going to have my head for this. I'm just going to have to find a way to reschedule it. Okay, okay. All right, well, I'll go look for Steph. No, you stay here and pack up the equipment. Let me find Steffi and have a little heart-to-heart -heart with her about professionalism and personal problems, something that you and I might discuss later. I'm sorry, too. I'm sorry. I needed this job, too, Well, okay? maybe you two will remember that there are three reputations at stake. You ever notice how nothing ever seems to go the way you want it to? All the time? What's wrong? Well, Steph's mad at me, so she blew off the chute, which means I won't be paying the electric bill anytime soon. Is she still upset about seeing us in the gatehouse on New Year's Eve? Oh, look. If I could take back that night, I would. I never should have come to you. I never should have hurt Steph like that. So, what do you regret the most? Kissing me or hurting Stephanie? Oh, Allie, look. Allie, it was just, it was a bad night. All you around. know what I regret? I regret that you didn't tell me what you came to say. No. No, I didn't. Nothing is stopping you now, Casey. If only that were true. Oh, what do you have to chase after Stephanie? Do you have to help her? Do you have to protect her? Oh, yeah, that's me, the great protector. I've done such a great job of that. I've been replaced. What are you talking about? Clay Alden is uh, taking over as Steph's manager in her ten-round bout with life. Clay? Yeah. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? Oh, I see. Saving another woman from another Alden. not a job I applied for, okay? I just happen to get hooked up with women who find those men irresistible. I gotta get this equipment out of here. What, Casey? What if I would have waited that night at the gatehouse on New Year's Eve? What would have happened? Yeah, nothing. It wouldn't have made any difference. Can you say that? I don't know, maybe because by the time I got Steph under control, you were announcing your engagement, like we hadn't even been together a few minutes before. Well, I'm surprised you even heard the announcement. You were too busy with Stephanie in your arms. I just don't understand you. Yeah, well, I don't understand you, so... Wait, and Casey, I've waited for you for so long! Even during my charade, marriage to Cooper! Well, and this one isn't going to be a charade. Oh. Well, then all I have to offer you is my congratulations. Congratulations. You know, I'm, I'm really sorry that things didn't work out between you and Stephanie, but if I have to worry about my life and my son, 
Go home, Allie. The store's closed. I'm sure that your, uh, your son and your fiancé are both waiting for you. Enjoy all your married days. Oh, Connie. How could you let me go? 